Chapter 19 Agreement of the Verb with the Subject Read the various rules of subject-verb agreement. A verb must agree with its subject in number and person. The verb should be made to agree in number with its proper subject, not with a noun near it, as The quality of the apples is not good. Correct. The quality of the apples are not good. Incorrect. If the subject of a sentence has two or more nouns or pronouns connected by and, we use a plural verb as Ram and Sham are going to the school. If two or more singular nouns or pronouns are connected by or or nor, we use a singular verb as Your brother or sister is sitting in the room. A singular verb is used with words either, neither, each, everyone, and many a, as either of these roads leads to the bus station. Neither of the complaints is true. Each of these boys is a good swimmer. Every one of the compartments is full. Many a politician has promised to make changes. A plural verb is used with nouns such as trousers, shears, scissors, tweezers as they are found in two parts. My trousers are wet. Those scissors are mine. When two subjects are connected by as well as along with, with, then the verb agrees with the first subject. The lioness as well as its cubs is running after a deer. The parents along with their son are waiting outside the school gate. Some nouns which are plural in form but singular in meaning take a singular verb as the news is true mathematics is his favorite subject when the plural noun is a proper name for some single object it takes a singular verb as jatak tales is a book about buddha's life gulliver's travels was written by Jonathan Swift. When the subjects joined by or nor are of different persons, the verb agrees with the subject nearest to it. Neither the teacher nor the students were in the classroom. When the subjects joined by or or nor are of different persons, the verb must agree with the nearer pronoun as either he or I am wrong, either you or he is wrong. When a plural noun denotes some specific quantity or amount considered as a whole, the verb must be singular as 50 kilometers is a long journey. Twenty minutes was allowed to each student to solve the sum. Eighty thousand rupees is a large amount of money. In sentences beginning with here or there, the true subject follows the verb as There is a high hurdle to jump. There are four hurdles to jump. Here are the papers you requested.